Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from today.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So about 48 hours ago, uh, Microsoft had some issues and, and AT&T runs their cloud service through them. So it looks like AT&T customers were also affected by the outage as well. And that was 48 hours ago. Some of you may have had that experience. Let us know in the comments. But it seemed like last night, AT&T also had an outage, um, although a bit smaller. I think this one was was fairly small regionally. Maybe like I saw parts of Ohio, Cincinnati was on it. So th it didn't break out to be more wide scale. But it still seems interesting to track that AT&T has been sporadically having outages, you know, over and over again, so to speak. I'm not saying it's happening like every day all the time but it's it's been more frequent in recent times so this is it, it's very interesting because you guys have heard me when the ericsson deal was announced right the nokia rips to ericsson i told you guys to brace for impact that there were there that there would be service interruptions and and cutouts and and i received the map right and the members are very familiar with that, where it showed, you know, you could have outages three, four days at a time, but it was just based off of a tower site. But then I was I was looking at okay, I was looking at the pace, how quickly they want to do this, then it, it it's clusters, right? It's clusters of sites that are gonna go down at the same time because they wanna do so much in a short period of time and it sounds like that i mean i don't i don't want to put any guarantees or anything official because i'm still speculating because i don't have any official reports but it does sound like in the nokia area areas that are being ripped right at, at, at very large scale uh happening now very quickly too at a good pace it look it's looking like that those are the areas that are affected the most by the outages and this is the first time that AT&T is going through such a large rip and replace. So, I mean, baseband units are going out and who knows what else is, is, is going wrong during that process, right? We, we might have software cutouts um, that, that triggers a domino effect. I mean, who knows? But what I can say is, and I'm confident in that, for the next... 24 months while AT&T goes through this transformation, um, I feel AT&T's network, wireless network, is going to get less reliable, if that makes sense. Once it's all said and done, once everything is ripped Nokia-wise and Ericsson is added and they have, have it optimized, retuned, then we will finally start seeing you know, AT&T's reliability normalized again and, and everything working fine. But... That's going to take some time. And then, of course, as each individual site is ripped and replaced and, and optimized, you know, those areas will start becoming more reliable. But I just feel that during this process and it being so wide scale and it being clusters of sites, I just feel that we're going to see a lot more of these outages. I, I hate to say it, but I'm just recapping what I initial what my initial thoughts were when I made the videos from the you know when the deal was first announced with Ericsson, I'm just telling you guys brace for impact. If you're an AT and T customer, you're in the Nokia market, you you might not be affected, right? You might not notice anything, but I just I just want to uh, brace you guys for impact. You could have outages, could be down for a few days, and then Microsoft as well. They're uh, uh, Azure is what it's called. I, I hope I said that right. Uh, or Azure, whatever it's called. Um, I think that's also going offline. So that might also be causing issues for AT&T. So not a good time right now for AT&T. It's, it's a bit of a bumpy ride, uh, actually very bumpy. And also not good for first responders that have to deal with those uh, with those issues. So I just wanted to talk about that today. Um, just uh, not really bringing you guys up to speed, but just more of a uh, PSA, right? Just making you aware, hey, look, if if you're in this market, it's a Nokia market. Um, and I put a map out for, for the members. If you'd like to follow that, that membership, a link to that will be in the description under more. Um, it's it's quite a, 
a large part of the country that 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 AT and T has Nokia. Like Ohio is Nokia, Arizona is Nokia, uh, Nevada is Nokia, um, New York is Nokia. P- parts of Pennsylvania, parts of Wisconsin, it's it's a mix. So there's lots of Nokia out there, and lots of issues are being reported. And I'm starting to really think that that it's linked to this large cluster of rip and replaces. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.